Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the official USB Extended 6.1 based on Android 9.0 by for our Redmi Note 5 or the Redmi 5 Plus. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So, guys, starting with the launcher, we can see we get this uh, Pixel Launcher and Android settings. We get this customized Pixel Launcher actually. So, we have some customizations with the home screen. You can see this play. Uh, let's just play over the app, the app labels, the grid layout and your normal stuff. Then we have the icons, notification dots, uh, this add icon to home screen, icon pack, icon shape, four shape mask on legacy icons. Then we have the app draw stuff, we have the app labels and hide app and we have the gestures and this clear all from recent views which works like this. As you can see, I have these apps and just need to swipe down at clear. I've got plenty all of the OSP based apps and you can see some of the Google apps are also present. Then I haven't installed much on this device but yeah, preferably I do normal usage plus little gaming on this ROM. Then into the settings you can see Android Pie with new icons, the material design too. Then into a system about phone you can see we have the about us so it's about the usb extended team and all of their pages and gdf you can see we also have this wallpapers it tells us about the information of the wallpapers and all of the developers and maintainers information then we get here into the android version we get say android 9 and usb extended 6.1 official with the latest file december 2018 security patch and the zook notch kernel with the latest tag now guys last time i reviewed the alpha version like it had some bugs but this build has no bugs at all like actually you can see the performance is really awesome um, it's not a lagging that much also we have this google now to quickly get into and you can see i use this much app so it may worry the performance and gaming but yeah it's like really okay for wins like our redmi note 5 the redmi 5 plus uh, single cam variant it's really good and i'm really loving this rom like i'm using it from 340 let's take a look at the extensions present here which is the customization tab and i also have a sim card with volte so you can see going into extensions we have here the status bar option into the status bar we can see status bar items here all of the items presented and status bar battery style traffic indicators and miscellaneous extensions you can see we also have volte icon and volte works really well here you can see we have the 4g icon so data disabled icon so you can like use this or not then getting back we have the miscellaneous extensions oh, sorry the clock settings the clock customization we have the traffic indicators oops sorry getting back then we have the notification panel and quick settings you can see we get quick setting stuff then notifications on quick settings and all the battery charging stuff navigation panel uh, sorry navigation bar you can see you can customize the stock settings and swipe on home button okay so this is just a shortcut to swipe on home button nothing else then going into the okay, recent we have the recent ui and into you can select recent spy and stuff all then we have the lock screen lock screen ui see face auto unlock is also present in fingerprint unlock like if you have fingerprint and if you don't want it just to input the pattern then we have the system settings we have the general tweaks see two step icon and suspend actions and then we have the buttons like the power menu and all of the volume buttons and stuff so you can customize them here and uh, that's all with the customization moving into battery and gaming performance like the gaming performance is really okay like we face some lags like i face some lags yesterday while playing pubg and at the first time like two days ago i played pubg uh, like really harsh on this device and yeah it was actually good but then i full charged so yeah i can't like get to the graph but that was actually a weird graph then i have this graph from like one day and 17 hours ago and you can see i played pubg just for 36 minutes like last study and then you can see this is a graph youtube for two hours like all the other usual apps i've used for two hours i got three hours and four minutes screen on time uh, and almost like half of the battery is also remaining so this is really well like the battery drain is really less on this rom the kernel is improving a lot mm, yeah everything is good like all of the apps are optimized like usb apps also we get the normal camera and camera to api is enabled so you can easily go in and i mean you can see camera works so let's click a picture works fine also the selfie camera works 
so yeah it really works fine so this is all good like camera is good and no bugs at all so it's a fully stable for daily use as this rom is official it also has system updates which are ot updates and you can see you can check here currently i'm on the latest build the 13 december build so i don't have any updates so if you have any update you can just update it through here and yeah that's all for this because so that's it for the aosp extended review and i don't think guys you need an installation but if you need installation from the next video just tell me down in the comment section and the installations are like almost same go to twrp clean everything except internal and storage uh, the sd card and you are good to go flash the rom and gfs and boot it and bye bye i'll see you guys in the next video then you can subscribe comment like like this video if you like it and dislike if you're not or oh, what okay is happening okay and bye bye i'll see you guys in the next video till then bye bye